Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting the sub button and the notification bell. Then you'll be alerted when any of my new videos are uploaded. It is completely free to do so. Um, so I am filming in a bit of a weird spot today. Um, just because I normally film near the window. We've got a very, very quiet road, but at the moment there's road works going on all around where we, where we live. And now our road is a diversion. So it literally just sounds like we're we're on a you know on a motorway. <laughs> so all you can hear is just cars pass, cars going past all day long. And um, so I thought I'd stand here. So it's a bit of a different scenery. The only thing is I've been filming, and I had to stop and refilm it because there's a bit of this floor here, and it sounds like I'm farting as I'm walking on it. <laughs> so I just thought I'd clear that up in case anyone thinks that I'm like farting during a video. It probably is a fart, but it might be the floor. <laughs> No, it is the floorboard, guys. But today's video is a new look try on. So I want to show you some of the most beautiful dresses that they've got in there at the moment, in my opinion, anyway. So I found this dress. Oh, can we just appreciate the pattern of this dress at the moment? So this dress was $29.99 and I thought this was absolutely stunning. So I love that this has got a long sleeve on it because I find a lot of dresses at the moment have got very strappy sleeves. I've got itchy nose. They've got very strappy sleeves, a little like short sleeves and stuff like that. So you kind of have to wear a jacket. Now, if you're very conscious of your arms as well, it's not nice because then you feel like you've got to cover up. And I think sometimes it takes away from the dress. I'm very confident, so I'll just have my arms out regardless. But I know not everyone feels like that. So the fact that they've made this dress with the beautiful long sleeves, I just think is really lovely. And um, so it's got a lovely big balloon sleeve. It's got a lovely puff sleeve as well, like a um, puff on the shoulder, which makes your shoulders look wider, which then makes this part look smaller aligned out with your hips and it makes you look very much more hourglass um, and also as well I just want to say thank you to whoever designed this dress at New Look because most women their smallest part is directly under their bra like where their ribs are not all women's smallest part is their waist because some women carry their weight around their belly um, so they've been so clever they've popped the bit where it stops and transitions directly under the bra which I think is just so clever and it looks so beautiful really brings you in the pattern on this speaks for itself. It's absolutely beautiful. Now I'd say this is probably like um, a, a Mac a mid axi length. So it's not a midi and it's not quite a maxi either. It's like in between. It's really beautiful. And what I love as well, it's also got a split on it. But do you find sometimes they have five splits and they're just ridiculously big. And then I can't wear my Spanx if I want to wear my Spanx if I'm going on a night out and I want to wear them. Or if, you know, you want to wear, I don't know. I feel like your knickers are all on show. I just don't really like the big splits that were halfway up the leg. So I love that this one's nice and low. You can wear Spanx as well because your Spanx obviously are much higher than that because it's just above the knee. This I'll probably pair with like Dr. Martin's, a nice big oversized coat in the day to day. I probably, as it comes to summer, could wear little sandals with it as well because it's nice and light and airy. Um, but I probably might wear this Boxing Day when we go up to Gary's Land and Granddad's because I'm thinking a little pit pop of pink lipstick, a little pair of like high heeled sandals, maybe in pink or black. It'd look really nice. You could really dress this one up. And this is $29.99, so I thought this was really, really nice. Um, I'm going to get this off. As always, I've got my Spanx on and my bra on underneath. Um, I'm covered up. There's nothing more than you wouldn't see at the local swimming pool or do you know what? Every shop that you walk past in town that has an underwear shop, there's loads of people in their underwear. It's not offensive. I don't know why I say that, but I feel like I have to say that because I feel like sometimes people get quite offended by it. The fact that I get changed on the camera. But it takes so much more time for me to film it, come off the camera and edit it. And I am absolutely shocking at editing. Like I can put videos together. I do try my best, but I'll be honest with you. It looks like very, very poorly made film. You know, when you watch a film and you, or a cartoon, and it's like really poorly made. Mine's the equivalent of that of editing. So if I don't have to edit, then I don't. Um, and why shouldn't I change on the camera? You can see a little bit of me rolls and that hanging out. Just to show a bit of normality. So the next dress I found is, oh, now this dress, I love the colour green, it's my favourite colour anyway, um, but this dress I just thought is just Grecian goddess slash Christmas slash 50s pinup. You'll see what I mean, so it's got this like silky material on the inside, I don't think it's going to be really sweaty though for some reason, um, and it's got this lovely little like foiled shiny like little dots on it, which is really nice. Now, this dress was a little bit more for a new look. Um, so this was 37 dollars yet again in a size 16. I've got that in a size 16. Um, 
but I think that this could very much be your Christmas dress. This is gorgeous. They had this in a few other colours as well. Um, this is just so pretty. And what I love about it, I'll show you, is it's got such a lovely bust line to it. So, <laughs> I've obviously got to do this up. <laughs> it's very booby looby. So it's got this little tie thing on it that you can tie up, which I'm going to tie it right up into a knot so that it's completely tight. It hugs your boobs, it makes your boobs look beautiful actually. So I'm gonna tie that up and then the string covers that bit. So it has got the tiny little keyhole there, but if you're wearing a bra, you're not gonna see nothing anyway. You could wear a green bra, but you can obviously wear a black one like I am and you wouldn't notice. You could size up in this, I think, to be honest with you. I don't know, if you don't carry weight on your hips, so I'm carrying weight all on my hips, and I feel like it's making it go tight across this area here, and then it's hugging under my belly. I've got that little belly smiley face bit. I don't know, you have to let me know what you think, um, but I might possibly size up to an 18 in this one. Um, gonna tie it forward, that might help it a little bit, bring the fabric up so it's not so tight around my hips. But the sleeves are gorgeous. It's got this milkmaid little style here. I love this because it makes it look like a little sweetheart neck. This is just a siren dress. I love that it comes up high at the back as well because a lot of the dresses are very low back. And if you have big boobs, you have to wear big bras. And big bras never look pretty at the back, do they? The sleeves are gorgeous. It hasn't got a thigh split or anything in this. But then yet again, this is like a mid axi length. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful i'm thinking with some like gold heeled sandals or even with some like tights and you could wear like some really nice blocky chunky black shoes with these high heeled shoes they look gorgeous i love this oh i can hear gary i can hear the baby are they playing or do they need me no i'd say they're all right um <laughs> <laughs> why is it as a mum you always feel like you need to intervene even though he's a dad and he's down there and he's a very good dad and he's fine and he's playing with them I'm like oh I hear a noise do they need me so I thought this dress just looks really lovely please let me know what you think because I feel like I'm getting a bit of definition of my belly going and <laughs> showing in this one I don't know if I need to size up or if it's a thing where it's just the lights making it look a bit weird on the camera and I can't quite see it properly in my camera um, but yeah, I thought this was really, really, really beautiful. So I've got this one as well. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favourite ones are. And then lastly, I'm really into like folksy kind of like 70s dresses. Well, the dress I found, it's got a folksy pattern and it's so lovely. And it's definitely one of them dresses that you could, oh, I tied that up, I forgot I tried that up, um, that you could wear like with some boots and stuff, it'll be an all year rounder. I don't know about this one. I think this would definitely be like an autumn winter dress. And this could be a day dress as well. You could wear this with boots and stuff and then dress it up with high heels. But I feel like the other ones you could possibly wear in the summer as well. Do you know what I mean? I think maybe because this has got that silky material, maybe not with the, do you know what I mean? It just feels a bit too party dressy. But this one and the first one, I think you can definitely wear with like in the summer as well, especially this chiffony one. So this one's 35 99 as well, yet again in a size 16. And the colour on this is just beautiful. Look at the pattern on that, guys. So it's like this lovely folksy pattern with like bright pinks and burgundies and lovely sage greens. And it's on a black background. And what I love as well is if you are a bit colour shy and you're not really into wearing something bright, but there's a colour that you really like that's come out that's trending at the moment, like pink is really in at the minute. Pink is everywhere. But if you're a bit conscious, something like this is perfect because you've got your pops of pink in there, but it's also got the black background, so you feel a bit more confident. Um, so this dress, oh, love it. Also, don't forget, guys, even though this is like a round neck, this isn't a particularly, particularly really high, high neck. It's quite a nice round neck as it goes. Um, it does have a little button at the back, and you can just fold them in, and obviously you could turn this dress back to front and have it as a V-neck instead. But I actually really like this like this. And it's got a little tie up. I'll probably tie that at the back. Are you meant to tie it up at the front or the back? I never know. I think with that one, it looked better at the back, at the front, but this one will look better at the back. It pulls it right in. So these sleeves are what sold it to me. These are absolutely gorgeous. So yet again, we've got the balloon sleeve, but there's this gorgeous ruffle that comes all the way around, 
which is just so pretty and it goes like that and we've also got like this asymmetrical ruffle as well it starts here on the hip and just slowly goes all the way down slowly <laughs> i don't know if it was slow so slowly or not that's just me making stuff up um but <laughs> it goes round like that i'd say this is like virgin on maxi I am 5'3", but I find it very hard to think that this is probably meant to be a midi dress on my height. It is literally, when I stand still, it is touching my ankle, like literally gliding on my ankle. Um, but this is really beautiful. You've definitely got loads of room in this dress as well. This would be perfect for maternity. I think the first one you could get a little bit of room in it, but I don't know if you could be full on pregnant in that dress. Um, so I know I've got a lot more pregnant mamas and stuff on here since I've been doing like some of my ones with Albert when I've done like my packing my bag and stuff. Even though it's quite an old video, it draws some new mummies in. So yeah, it is perfect if you've got a belly, a bit of a belly this one, or if you know you're just carrying a few pounds and you want to have like a bit of a smocky style over it. It's really nice because it ties in here, but it is really nice. I just thought this one was gorgeous and that this would look lovely with some high heels as well. But this is probably more of a day dress. Let me know what one your favourite is, because I think my favourite is probably is the f in order as what I tried them on. No, I don't know, actually, I think I might like this more than a green one. No, I don't know, because it's more of a night dress, isn't it? So I don't know, they're different style dresses. But I thought this was really gorgeous. Um, I'm going to be coming back showing you my trials every week. But what I'm going to be doing is, in the lead up to Christmas, is I'm going to be showing you some really beautiful pieces. But I'm going to try and pick pieces that you can really make the most of because obviously i don't keep all of these clothes i've said this in my trials before it'd be ridiculous for me to have this many clothes and um, but when i do pick items i'm going to try and pick ones that you can really make the most of in your wardrobe so if you do want to go and buy an item that i show you you can obviously wear it and maximize it by wearing it in the summer or in the winter as well or you know wearing it with boots but also wearing it on a night out so i'm going to try and show you my favorite ones especially in the lead up to christmas because we're going to have so many events and things to go to or like if you just want to dress up nice and Christmas I'm going to try and show you the best things that I found in the shops that are Christmassy but practical so they make your money go a bit further as well um so I've been Rosie Henshaw I've still got an itchy nose I think it's a hair I've done a video the other week and someone was like your hair is very irritating it's just across your face and I thought is it and I don't watch my videos back before I put them up otherwise I'd just cringe myself out so much I probably wouldn't upload them um, and I looked and I had like basically this across my head <laughs> just stuck to my little sweaty head the whole way um <laughs> oh well so i'll be rosie henshaw hopefully you enjoyed this video guys see you next friday for another trial take care bye